we're nearing the pickup for this unique situation of a load, which is picking up an empty trailer to take it to the Deland shop, the Deland terminal shop. In one half mile, turn left on Northwest 35th Street Road, then make a U-turn. don't work or something then <laughs> that is not we'll the see. kind of trailer you'd be pulling to the shop we'll see. Yeah. So, very interesting and then I thought maybe it's a refrigerated trailer and just like the refrigeration doesn't work but it is not it's a dry van
he ended up having to go to a different door. Yeah, the sign on the door said go to this other door. <laughs> it's like a treasure hunt. Yeah. Well, I need to change that sign out there. Yep. And send you to this door. And this door says go to door 21. I was at door 21. Say go to door 22. Oh my goodness. Oh, and there's the fancy driver facilities. Yeah, it's the lounge. <laughs> like to go in there and get something to drink. What did they say? I just had to inform them that I'm taking one of their empty trailers to get some work done, just so they take it off their, their books. Because then they'll later they'll be like, hey, where'd that trailer go? We're trying to load it, you know? So, were, yeah. they, were they aware of it already? Oh, I don't think they were aware. She, she's like, I, I don't know. I'm, what, uh, I just came back from vacation. I don't know nothing. I'm just, I'm just taking a trailer. <laughs> shot. Receiving relax. messages. Which is strange because how would they why would they know that if they didn't know the number so they know the number because they assigned you this trailer maybe it was an automated message yeah you know. all right i gotta hook up i gotta do an inspection on that thing machine
I think I've discovered the needed repair. See this? Look at that. Well, and totally missing down in this corner. Last T1 was in May. Looks like somebody did a little duct tape job here. Right. And, uh, that look, that's missing completely. I think the ABS system's got a problem too. Yeah, that didn't come on. No. Hmm. What you checking there? Well, this is the ABS module right here. The fact that the light will come on, I just want to make sure there's no hoses or wires hanging off that might affect the rest of the brake system. The ABS means it's the anti-lock brake system. So if I jam the brakes on really hard and it's a slippery surface, the wheels might lock, which could jackknife the trailer. So the ABS is supposed to prevent the wheels from locking up. They'll keep turning. So right now the ABS light's not coming on. There's a problem with the ABS system. So the, the wheels could lock if I hit the brakes really hard, but it might not be working because maybe there's a you know, hose or something broken or fallen off. And if there's an airline hanging off, then I won't have any air to the brakes at all, right? Right. So I want to just make sure there's not something seriously okay. wrong there. Okay. used to this. Delivered tomorrow morning and then go to this. 
this place, uh, Lake Wales. Where is that, huh? Lake Wales, Florida is down, down south of Lakeland. Hi. <laughs> Lake Wales by Winter Haven. So we'll go from Orlando and then down here, pick up a load, and then take it all the way to Texas. That's wonderful. Yeah, so you were thinking Winter Haven, not Winter Park, when you first yeah, were thinking. Yeah, yeah, all yeah, that yeah. winter here in Florida. Yeah, I could, I could spend another night at home. Yes, you could. I could do that other one tomorrow morning. There's no sense going there now and sitting there all night. No, there's no place really for you to park right down there anyway, unless you can park at the customers. But uh, you could be parked right park. at... Nope, no overnight parking at that Yeah, oh, so. oh, 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 you have to stay at home. Oh. oh. <laughs> I might finally get that foot rub I was promised. What? <laughs> so uh, we could accept these, I guess. That's really awesome. I mean, it's not great for miles today. No. And if we were somewhere else, I'd be all annoyed. <laughs> but the truth is, you're right. Uh, at home and running around your own neighborhood and here being home. able to spend the nights at home so that's nice and then this is the thing too i i've noticed at crete like if they give you a, a short run like that they do try to balance it out then with a nice yeah, juicy and, load after and on short runs you get you get some pretty good shag pay too and it, it varies depends on the miles I, like this was 120 miles the one we're doing right now 121. And the one tomorrow is only going to be 34 miles, so the pay, the shag pay for the one tomorrow is going to be higher than the one today. In addition to the miles. Yeah. You get the miles and a shag run. Yes. Pay. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Thank you, Crete. Those are the different weird little things when you try to compare companies to drive for. It's really hard because there's all these weird little ways of paying different things. So that's one of them. I don't think, did you have that at Werner? I don't think so. Shag pay? Yeah, there was shag pay. Was there shag pay? Or was it that you had to call your, had to call your fleet manager and ask for something? <laughs> no, uh, the thing you usually had to call about was they'd forget to give you the shag pay and then you'd call them and then you'd have to look to see if it was on the next check and by then there were other things that were missing and you had to call for something else and it was just constantly double checking that they were paying you what they were supposed to and that's what happened in the corner. Uh, this is the next one. I'll accept the next one and we'll go to Texas, right? Yeah. plays a pretty song that ramblin' rose. Boy, now I'm all tempted to go along with you, but I have a couple appointments in the you next few Texas, days. Honey? I do want to go to Texas. Oh, you're going to be gone a week. Yeah, but I have a couple appointments. Mm -hmm. I want to go to Texas. Um. Oh, the rambling rose could meet the yellow rose of Texas. Huh? The yellow rose of Texas. Da, 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 da. Mm. Oh, speaking of pretty roses, look what I found. Look what I found. Somebody's nail polish. Should I be worried, Kevin? Why do you have women's nail polish? That's for my other girl. Uh, that, what? You notice the color matches the truck really close? Uh-huh. I'm gonna use that for touching up all the stone chips and uh, road damage. Are you sure you're not, you know, picking up... Uh, it's never been open. You wanna check it? It's sealed. <laughs> it's yeah, that's a lame excuse. Yep, it is. Jeez. Good thing I trust you, Kevin. <laughs> uh, okay, are we ready to go? Yeah, we got fuel, we got purpose. Uh, I didn't put the directions in here yet, though. I 
Okay. Why don't you do that? And hey, let's conclude the video. Huh? What? Done. Done. Here we go. In one quarter mile, turn left on Northwest 35th Avenue Road. Okay then. Hey, we hope you enjoyed this video of picking up a trailer that has a couple issues. Are any of these issues a problem for driving on the roads? Kind of? no, not that I could see from the inspection. All the lights work fine. It's just the ABS light's not on, which and if you get pulled over and a cop wants to really make some money for the police Christmas fund, he'd probably write you a ticket for not having that ABS light working, but it indicates that there's a problem with the trailer. I don't think it's serious and I don't I don't think I have to worry about the anti-lock brake system on the trailer today because we're driving slow on a back highway and I won't be jamming the brakes real hard. And we're taking it to the shop. And it's going to the shop to get fixed. That's the whole point. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please give us the thumbs up. Put your comments and questions below and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. <laughs> Good job, Kevin. We'll see you in the next video with love from Kevin and Tanya. Bye.